Hello, it's me, it's Anne. Let me get these out of the way. For one thing, they're filthy. But I don't want to blind you with the reflection off the lenses because that's rude. Anyway, yes, I have no face on. No, I'm not probably not going to put a face on. I'm having a day. Everything is just not right. Um, been having trouble sleeping. So, the doctor gave me a supposedly lightweight sleeping pill. As requested, I started off with just a half of one last night. I still didn't sleep, but I feel a little drunk still today. So, yeah not a straight line kind of day anyway back in september since it was my birthday month i did some purchasing some of the stuff that i did the purchasing on took a little while to get here so what i'm going to do is show you some of the stuff that i've got and talk about the way i got some of the stuff which was kind of interesting i'm going to start off with the October um, Ipsy bag just because I'm in love with the October Ipsy bag. I got the um, Kaleido Cosmetics Paradiso Diamond Foil Eyeshadow in bronze. Now let me tell you, feels like butter is gorgeous right yeah that one is going in something soon because that is seriously some fall stuff the other piece that I got that I'm having fun playing with is I've got my first piece of Nomad here now this is one of their highlighters so this kiss of sun highlighter and it's called Balmoral Beach. And I'm going, does Balmoral have a beach? I don't know. But again, it's gorgeous. Just beautiful color. Now, some of the more interesting buys. I haven't been able to find out a lot about this company but the palette is called Cageling and the name of the company translates to Furies, it's Enios. But I saw this palette on Amazon and I said, you know, I have to try this. That's, it's just too pretty. To not at least give a shot at and it was inexpensive if you really want to see what I'm talking about with really good pictures look up cageling palette on Amazon they may still have some um, in town here <clears throat> there's a lady that lives in town that gets several beauty boxes and the stuff she doesn't want to use she sells off or if she's got duplicates she sells off and she had two pieces up on her little sale board from Ace Beauty and I went and got them I got Glimmer Shadow Cotton Candy which is an absolutely glorious duochrome pink and gold. And I got the Ace Beauty Iced Latte, which is a brown and gold, which I also absolutely love. I've been wanting to try Ace Beauty, but not enough to go after some of the boxes it normally comes in. So, 
yeah and she sold these to me for five bucks a piece she also had one of the palettes that I was actually unhappy about not having the uh, subscription for but I don't do boxy lux and she had the butter London that came out in a recent boxy lux and I ran away with it this is the natural goddess palette that was I think it was in like August or September's boxy lux and I've swatched it a little bit and I'm going I have got to do something with this this is a gorgeous thing to use for fall ten bucks okay <laughs> I told you I am I will look for a bargain I am cheap but I will tell you when it's something that I've gone diving for now AliExpress, some of you are aware of AliExpress, some of you are not. Some of you have heard from the other, heard of the other version of it, which is Wish. And you can find interesting things on AliExpress and Wish. I prefer AliExpress because you can use the Ebates on AliExpress. I know they changed their name to Ratucan or something like that not too long ago. But that's just the name of the main company. It's still doing the Ebates thing. You get a certain amount off if they're participating. And you get it back as cash every so often. Now, on AliExpress, I was just scanning through looking at eyeshadow palettes. And I saw one, and I'm going, that looks kind of familiar, but there was no identifiers. They had white palettes laying open that are, you know, just 10 pen palettes, pretty basic. There was... Along the edge, if you're really familiar with some of the palettes, you might have gone, that's a ba 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 But it's like just this little strip along the edge where the, the cover paper is folded under on the top. They didn't give any names, no designators, nothing. And I had someone else that I know collects a lot of higher-end stuff and stuff I can't normally afford. Um, and, and I know she's got this set and I said could you look at this this looks like it might be a dupe and she looked at it and said that might be from the same factory and I'm going alright at the price point it was still it was worth a look at so the package only came in just a few days ago and I ordered this back in September. So yeah, it's kind of like when I ordered the the Delancey set with sets with all of the colors that look kind of like they took on color pop or something. Anyway, but I saw this one and I'm going it looks familiar maybe I can use it as a dupe for when we're doing some of our our um, collaborations where we're going you don't have to have name brand da 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 anyway the package came in a couple of days ago and I almost fell out of my chair because and I started doing more research after getting this in and I'm going Huh. So, yeah, it is the same factory that did these originally. And they were in their appropriate box. And it's all four of them.
Now, not being a foolish person and not always trusting stuff that comes in this way, I have put every one of these colors on spots on my arms, that kind of thing. And looked for reactions, which is pretty much what I do anytime I get something that I can't really identify. And even something I can identify, but if I haven't ever tried them before, regardless of how high in the stratosphere it is, if I haven't ever tried them before, I'm going to put some of it on, on my body parts to see if I react. Now, it, yeah, it's the, the exact same um, factory in China that did the original runs. These do not have the volume number or branding codes or anything like that on the back of the packages. They did have some of the information on the exterior box. No, I didn't keep it because I didn't think about it. But I've had no reaction to the stuff and I've had some of the same problems that people complained about with using some of the vault collection. You know, stuff being patchy or maybe kind of crumbly or no real payoff. While well, I was playing with them, but they're not bad. So now, if somebody wants to do a collab with the vault collection, I can hold this one up and go, me. Um, I'm still not necessarily going to claim that it's the official one just because I don't have all of the information on it. They didn't put all of the information with it. But that, yeah, if you want to see the Delancey palettes that I got earlier in that, that I used for a vid in September and, and then a collaboration the very beginning of October. Um, those are already up and out. The rest of these will be in upcoming videos and hopefully by then I will have had enough sleep that I don't look like a drunk rabbit. And yes, I have trimmed my hair. I needed to. It was getting too limp and shaggy. And the far ends were starting to get really crispy from the colors and the, all that stuff. So, yeah, I have trimmed my hair back so I can go back to doing the pin curls. And then doing, you know, get them my little pick comb and do the pick and flick. purple is still hanging in. It really is much better than I was originally told about splat. I was told splat was really an unfortunate product and I have found that not so much. Anyway, I have a lot of new toys I am looking forward to playing with. And hopefully, I will be back to doing actual makeup videos shortly. As soon as I get some sleep. 
Um, I'm putting a link down in the descriptions to a GoFundMe. The GoFundMe is for my little grandson. He has been diagnosed with multiple issues, including some rather severe seizure activity. And the local um, insurance that he has is not being very cooperative. He's got new seizure medications that are over $250 a month that just started that they're arguing about covering. He has some developmental delays that require some adaptive assistance and the insurance is not willing to cover a lot of the adaptive equipment we need which includes because of his seizures a safety bed if you have ever been in the pediatric ward in a hospital where they have the beds with the high sides with lots of material to keep you from rolling out or just crawling out or whatever that is a safety bed his neurologist wants him in a safety bed so that he doesn't easily roll out during a seizure and those are not cheap my daughter-in-law has started this fundraiser so that we can get this material for the kid. If you are able to donate, bless you. If you're not, if you could share, if, you, if it feels like the right thing for you to do, bless you. Otherwise, behave yourselves. Remember, I do not have bail money. I cannot rescue you. Have a good fall. And I will see you next time. Bye.